What's going on guys? This is Fifth Dread once again uh, doing a series. This is going to be a new series uh, that I haven't done yet. I told you guys about it in a previous video of my home theater PC slash NAS. So what I wanted to build and uh, you know one thing that you know it's always crossed my mind is you know how do I solve the problem of mass storage? Like, I have so much stuff across so many different computers, uh, you know, so I needed somewhere centralized that I could have, you know, basically an always-on sort of like hard drive solution. And also, you know, it crossed my mind recently, you know, what if I made this into a home theater PC at the same time? So it's kind of going to serve both purposes, this build is going to be home theater PC slash storage server and maybe later on down the road it'll just be a storage server if I get like a, a lightweight sort of solution for a you know a home theater PC but you know why not just go all out and make it both so this isn't all the parts that's going to be in it but this is a majority of it and I kind of want to just go over you know step by step what I have here you can see I have a a slimline motherboard this is like a micro ATX motherboard and this case that I have is an, a great Silverstone case uh, I looked at reviews this is a Grandia series GD08 media uh, I don't want to say media sorry home theater PC case it's an amazing case it supports full ATX motherboards but uh, at the time you know I wanted to get a slimline motherboard um, just in case, you know, later on I want to I want to put it in a micro ATX case. So, you know, I ended up finding this nice gigabyte board. Uh, I am going to put an Intel Celeron processor in it. It's a low power solution. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you put an i7 or an i5? Well, this is uh, basically it's a bang for your buck, cheap dual core solution, low power consumption, and it does a lot. So I'm really impressed with it. I have eight gigs of RAM. Uh, two four gig sticks. They're so gonna go in there. Really cheap Corsair, uh, amazing RAM DDR3. You can see I have four Cooler Master fans there at the top. Uh, those are silent uh, fans. You can get them with different color LEDs. But because I want them, I want this home theater setup to be low profile. So of course these are have no lights. They're just silent fans. I have a boot drive, which is a Pretty much the cheapest one you can get off of Amazon. It's a 64 gig crucial um, SSD, which is going to give me that fast boot uh, that I want, along with you know good responsiveness from anything in, anything application wise that I have on the drive. Um, you know because it's going to be a home theater PC, I'm going to run Xbox Media Center, and Xbox Media Center is going to have that nice quick responsiveness, uh, fast boot, basically. It's going to run probably 24 hours a day, um, you know, so really fast boot isn't going to matter, but, you know, it's going to have some responsiveness when it comes to opening and closing things, so that's nice, you know, especially because it's going to be, you know, media center, and we'll talk about that. And also in the brown boxes to the left there, you have three terabyte hard drives, uh, three, three terabyte hard drives, so that's nine terabytes of storage in total. Uh, the goal is to have all of them not in a RAID setup. I don't have a RAID card, unfortunately. Um, but what I am going to do is have them set up. If you guys know anything about Windows 8, it has hard drive pooling, which is really nice. You can set up um, what's called, what do they call it? A storage pool, a storage something. Basically what it is is you can, you can throw all your hard drives in it uh, and like a storage pool setup and it'll kinda have Drobo like functionality you can lose a hard drive and you'll have redundancy there so that's kinda nice you you always have that kinda fallback capability with Windows 8 uh, unfortunately Windows 8 isn't out yet so those hard drives aren't gonna be fully utilized I'm just gonna have them all thrown in there kinda not really using them in the way that I intend to use them just kinda have them there um, and later migrate them over when Windows 8 is released to that uh, solution. There's other solutions for it, but because I want to run Windows for all the Windows based applications, there's no good way that I was able to find to do it. Right now, Windows 7, I mean, I can run like a RAID 1, uh, you know, straight software RAID 1, but I'm trying to use three hard drives, so I can't really, it's not really going to work out for me the way I want uh, in like a hard drive kind of like combined storage sort of solution. So I'm basically going to wait on the Windows 8 
run Windows 7 right now with like our Media Center front ends and be happy with that. So, and the Cooler Master uh, heat sink you have there, my cooling solution is uh, basically it's a 200 millimeter fan, uh, pretty nice heat sink, low profile, doesn't really stick off the motherboard that high. Uh, basically, when I was searching for cases, I was going to go with something smaller than this because this case is a beast. So it pretty much could I could put a full cooling solution in there, but I went with something low profile instead. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, you know, it, it's really gonna do its job. It's gonna do better than stock cooling, so I'll give it that. Cause you know, a lot of people say this cooler that comes with this uh, Celeron processor is kind of garbage. Buy something aftermarket, third party, and that's what I did. So this Cooler Master fan had some good reviews. It's low profile and it'll work for what I need it. So this is it for the kind of like the products showcase of what I have so far. There's actually a video card coming in the mail that's like a low profile. It's actually a NVIDIA GTX, uh, or I don't even know if it's titled. It's a Radeon, not Radeon, oh God, whoa, sorry, whoa, crossing, crossing manufacturers here. It's an NVIDIA 430 has an HDMI out, so that's what will uh, interface with the TV. And actually, it's, it's got some decent performance per price ratio. So I'll be able to, you know, run everything I need. Blu-ray, if I want, later on down the road to throw a Blu-ray drive in this, I can. And it'll run Blu-ray straight to 1080p TV, no problem. Uh, most of my movies are going to be uh, already on the hard drive pool, so I don't really care about Blu-ray functionality right now, but it'd be nice. Uh, to have that, just why not, you know, down the road. Uh, but yeah, so this is my build. Uh, I'm going to put it together, and later on in this video, we'll look at it after it's kind of like all compiled, uh, thrown in there, and then we'll see uh, what it looks like. All right, guys, we're back. This is, again, Fit Dread, and here is my build. You can see it is sort of put together. There is a mess of trash everywhere. So let's show my progress and kind of like let's show the case a little bit let me sit on the ground now in the video this is going to look a little bit um a little bit silvery compared to what it is in real life um yeah i have some dog friends that are a little crazy so this is a little bit uh shinier than it is um you know standing here i'd say the camera gives it a lot more of a silvery look it's actually it's actually very dark black i'd say um that's gonna be my opinion of it you can see the power and reset button here and uh god they're crazy these are actually usb 2.0 because i don't have a 3.0 on my motherboard and the front mic and stuff so let's show you the inside of it let me lift up here now i did some changes here and it's kind of a mess you can see all these SATA cables everywhere um, I mounted the three hard drives I have here let me go ahead and sit down here these are my three terabyte hard drives kind of chilling in there uh, I was gonna separate them but I figured I'd add more hard drives here later anyway so I figure I'll just leave these here uh, my SSD drive is mounted right there it's uh you know, ran it all the way down. Uh, my motherboard only has so much capability. It's just a small little baby board. Um, mounted my cooler here. It's working. I haven't turned it on yet. So this is actually a video card I had in my card collection of old cards. And I decided to use it. Now I had a 430 I talked about coming in the mail. But then I saw this in my stash of old cards, and I was thinking, you know, what does this have? Oh, it has an HDMI. Okay. So, will this work for my build? So, I did a benchmark, and this is actually more powerful than the 430 by, like, almost double uh, as far as, like, graphics performance. That's awesome for me, so I'll be able to use this for all my Blu-ray and stuff and actually get some decent gaming out of it, and that's awesome because if you guys see my television over there, it's kind of big and it needs to be used, so we're going to use it. Uh, this is my old power supply, 600 watts, a little bit overkill for my power-efficient build, but I'll tell you what, it's going to do good for this. This is like 110 watts it uses, so it's a little bit more power drain 
compared to, say, the 430 that I was going to get, but it'll be alright. Um, uh, right here I have space for two additional hard drives. This, uh, this is going to be, what is it, SATA 2, and then I have two SATA 3s. So those will be, those are utilized, and two of those SATAs are utilized. So I got two more hard drives I can plop in there, and then if I add an expansion card later, I'll be able to do that. So yeah. Alright guys, it's in its place where it's going to stay. If you can see it, it looks pretty nice in my little home theater setup here at the bottom. Uh, it looks, it matches my black entertainment center. I have it, uh, actually Windows 7 is loaded up on it and it works uh, pretty perfectly. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few flaws and I'm working on them, but they're not worth mentioning in this video. Uh, what we will talk about is what I have on the software part. And uh, it's pretty entertaining to see. I actually was running Heaven Benchmark, if you can see the uh, the icon for it. And what I control it with is this wireless keyboard. Now, if you recognize this keyboard, it's because I used it on my arcade cabinet setup as well. I bought a second one because I love these so much that uh, I thought about using it again. Pretty good uh, multi-touch capable mouse. Uh, you know, volume controls, you got a clicker over here for the left mouse button. It comes with your standard keys. And so it's really great for this setup. Now, one thing that I wanted to add on here, uh, if you guys know, on my arcade build, the front end I used was Hyperspin. So I wanted to include Hyperspin on this um, home theater PC. So I'm going to go ahead and skip past that. Now I actually, and I'll go ahead and turn this down also, I copied my setup over to this, and it's pretty seamless integration. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but what we do have is all your consoles, everything pretty much is on here. Now I haven't sat down and configured all the buttons, because what I, what I did was I have my 360 controllers right here, and these are pretty nice uh, 360 controllers. They do a great job. And uh, they both are wireless. And down here on the home theater PC, let me go ahead and just focus in on top. Let me just reach back here and... Oh, this is a adapter. Um, well, sort of. Not really. It's a wireless receiver for the Xbox 360 controllers. So it kind of just chills right there. And so I can turn on these controllers. They'll automatically pick up. And then they'll be connected to my setup here. So that's pretty awesome. And like I was actually playing uh, some PlayStation games. And you know that's a better setup is with a controller. Uh, once you have those console uh, games, like let's just talk about them. Uh, you know, GameCube, Wii. Oh, and speaking of Wii, I, I could add a, a sensor bar and a Wiimote and it would work you know pretty perfectly so that's pretty cool uh... then you have other things like you know uh, all the old consoles and stuff it would probably be better um, you know with a controller and it actually works pretty good so i haven't uh, had a chance to test everything yet but it does work and for xbox media center um, you know i use this on my arcade cabinet it's a good um, media center setup. I have a few things on here, a few movies. Uh, well, I did anyway until uh, I transferred the data. Now I gotta redo the directory structure and stuff. But what I do have is a few, uh, you know, a few movies that I got on here. Uh, looks like I gotta fix my paths and stuff. That's no big deal. But I was watching some movies on it. Works pretty good. Uh, my so let's see, uh, Step Mania 5 is, uh, if anyone's played Dance Dance Revolution, I like to play it, and I got a dance mat that just plugs into that uh, front uh, USB, and it works great. Uh, it's it got like a hundred and some songs on there. So, And I do run Steam on here, because I am a Steam user. Uh, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, the benefits of Steam, I have a lot of games on my Steam library, and I can just download them on here, and really where it's best utilized is if I have a controller-enabled game. I can really just sit on the couch and play those games. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is my uh, home theater PC setup. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if I had to redo it over, um, 
I don't know, the SSD is kind of giving me a little bit of funny, uh, funny stuff. It, it kind of freezes up, and I do blame the SSD. I don't think it's the Windows load. Something with those crucial SSDs causing it to, like, just freeze. Uh, you know, some people say it was the Intel technology that's, like, you know, allowing, uh, you know, hard drives to go to sleep. I tried turning it off. It didn't work. I, I, I want to do some more research, but that's just kind of, like, time-consuming. And if I had to go back and do it again, I'd spend the extra little bit of money and buy a better SSD. Um, just a, a better brand, probably a Corsair, um, uh, you know. I think that's called N4 series. But anyway, yeah, guys, uh, that's my home theater PC setup. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. And I'll be happy to answer them. I've been answering all your guys' questions. Oh, actually, I do have a Wii sensor bar. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know it was there. All right, guys, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later.